Hey guys, I want to show you how to take apart a anemometer. This is the BNG 608. Uh, I had a heck of a time finding instructions on YouTube or anywhere else on the net to figure out how to replace the bearings in this. And BNG is currently charging, I think it was $99 to replace the bearing uh, for the speed sensor. So this right here, this little unit here is the $99 piece. And ideally we could just go get a $5 bearing shipped to the house instead of paying $99. So um, real quick, this little screw on the end here, or this nut, this uh, can sometimes be opened by hand. I actually had to uh, use some tools to open it, but I've already freed it up. So I'm gonna open this by hand here. Okay, so I removed that piece and then you can remove the cups. This is just free falling or free floating. And then you should be able to, uh, I was able to do this by hand. Um, you might need a wrench or something and you can unscrew this from the main body then. Not too bad. By the way, this has only been three years and I had to replace this. So I'm gonna set that aside. So this is the bearing housing that uh, B&G wants $99 for. So um, the trick here is there's a super small hole right here. And I found that this is using some type of like hex head. Uh, I just have like a multi-tool kit and found the right size. It looks like, like a, a 1.5, I don't know if that millimeters. So 1.5 millimeters. And the trick is to turn this, and you won't be able to see this on camera, but you wanna turn this until you can see uh, your, your hex head uh, screw in there and take, uh, hopefully have enough of a neck on this thing to get down in here, but you can go in here. By the way, this tool is like $10 on Amazon. So I'm gonna go in here and if you have trouble finding it, you can stick the head in and spin this screw until it pops in place. And mine just popped in place. So once it's in there, you can, um, this is the other trick I learned. Uh, you start unscrewing it until the the front and the back are independently uh, spinning. Like at first, this part and this part should spin together. But once you get the screw loosened up enough, this, both of these parts will screw independently of each other. And then you know you have it. If you unscrew it too much, you won't be able to pull the front off, the bottom or the top, I don't know. You won't be able to pull this out because the screw will get in the way. So once you get that unscrewed just a little, Give this a little bit of a pull. It might be stuck a little bit, um, but if they're spinning independently and you haven't lifted the screw up too much, uh, you should be able to pull this out and you should be able to still spin this. So just pull that out and here you can see, you can actually see the screw in this shot. A little 1.5 millimeter. Okay, so once that's out, uh, be careful, don't do this. Well, I wouldn't do this at the top of the mask but uh, there's a lot of little pieces. There's two bearings in here. So if you take this and this and you push down on here, you can get the bottom assembly to fall out. And be careful, there's still another set of bearings in the other end. So if you flip this over, there's our one set of bearings. And here's a second set, slides right off this rod here. And then here, it looks, by the way, it looks like this is a little off center. Um, I think it's supposed to be that way. It probably uses some type of reed switch to pick up the magnet on here as it spins around in the other apparatus. So I think that's okay. If yours looks like that, let me know in the comments. But basically this is how you get access to your two bearings. Um, and to put it back together, obviously we do the opposite. I'm gonna get it wrong. Uh, put this in this side, and it's almost flush with the top. And then you insert your bearings. Uh, the small side, broad side goes on the outside. Put that over top like so. Might need push down a little bit. Don't damage it, just jiggle it. Then we can take the other bottom and we will put this on here. And this doesn't really matter too much how, much how far you, well, you want it all the way in. 
Um, and then you want to find your hex screw again. Go ahead and tighten that up. And then when you go to put your cups back on, line up the divot, make sure you have that on there, right? Or else this thing won't register when you start climbing to the back the top of the mass. Um, okay, so get that on there. I can tell now when I spin the cups, it's spinning the other side. Oh, look at that. It's not doing, oh, it's cause I didn't put the screw in all the way, but this should spin when you spin your cups now. Let's take the cups back off. Again, I shouldn't have, I should have tightened everything down for this video, but I didn't expedience. And uh, you just put on your end screw cap and you should be all set. Thanks guys.